For the past 152 years, the Expo World Exposition has been uniting countries through scientific, cultural, and technological achievements. These achievements are a foundation for a global communication and exchange of ideas and various views. Each time, countries and cultures have had the opportunity to promote their own original ideas and knowledge on the awarded theme. Expo 2005 in Aichi, Japan is yet another opportunity for countries to unite and share their own unique views. The Expo's theme in 2005 is nature, entitled The Wisdom of Nature. We live in a time when we are all responsible for the state of our planet. Technology has refined our lives, however it has also severely endangered them. On a global level, this problem is most actual and demanding. Therefore, this has been chosen as the basis for the fresh solutions and encouraging questions to be found in Japan in the year 2005. Croatia, of course, after great success at previous expos, winning first place in Lisbon Expo 1998, takes great honor in participating in this important world event. In the year 2005, we will participate in Japan, introducing the world to what we unquestionably enjoy here in Croatia, the sea. The Adriatic Sea will help us to present the space we live in. This will come out of a drop of water that crystallizes itself into a grain of salt. The logo itself comes out of the theme where the red circle symbolizes a drop of water and the red square symbolizes a grain of salt. These two symbols, a drop of water and a grain of salt, take us to the imaginative architecture of the Croatian pavilion. It is divided into two levels and five space-time continuums. We may explore the pavilion's uniqueness by passing through its transformations from one to the next. One group visit lasts 12 minutes, and in this time visitors are exposed to a dynamic, strong, and visually enhanced experience. The first space visitors will enter is the welcome area. It is actually the atrium of the pavilion where on a large white surface visitors will see the logo explaining the content of the pavilion itself. The letter O from the Latin alphabet is turned into a red circle, and a square sign from the title in Japanese is turned into a red square. Protecting the visitors instead of the usual awning, there will be a blue glass ceiling filled with water. The second space named In the Sea is actually a welcoming space which is dominated by a glass ceiling filled with water. The only source of light comes from above and penetrates through the water, refracting and reviving the space with the light and sounds of the Adriatic Sea. The visitors continue into the main hall, named Out of the Sea, directed by a lighted path. There on the side walls are projected slides with motifs from a salt factory and the sea surface. Crossing over to the other side of the hall, visitors experience an ambiental surprise. Bright white lights are turned on. The visitors are actually on a moving platform. The platform rises up. The salt factory under the strong Mediterranean sun. Square fields, pools filled with salt, salt wagons on the rails, workers collecting the salt, Dalmatian songs combined with the sound of a salt factory and the sound of the sea. This takes the visitors into a new scene named Over Croatia. The white salt fields turn into a projection screen for aerial filming over Croatia. The last part of the show is the thank you moment. Each visitor receives a truly authentic gift, a bottle containing a drop of water and a grain of salt. From this unique idea, a whole range of Croatian products, as well as Croatian culture and its potential, have been given a chance to express themselves to both the Japanese and the whole world. The 15 million visitors to this world event will put Croatia in an enviable position. <laughs>